It's a lint mint. It's a mint lint. It's a linty, minty, mint lint. Good afternoon, lovely people of the internet. Welcome back to Maverick Baking. My name is Kelly and I'm here to provide you with all manner of recipes, food reviews, and just anything to do with sugar, really. Today we are reviewing a product that I am really excited about. It's technically probably a Christmas product, but you know what? If they're selling it in October, I'm gonna review it in October. We are talking about this brand new Lint Lindor mint flavor. I love Lint chocolate and I love Lint Lindor truffles, but I've never tried one of their Lindor bars before. I believe they come in a regular flavor in that red wrapper and sometimes an orange flavor in an orange wrapper. But when I saw this brand new mint one, I was like, bitch, give it to me now. So this is what we're reviewing today. I am in love with the packaging. I just love, I love the shape of this bar. I love the color of the packaging. I just, yeah, I'm really into it. I'm hungry, so let's taste it. Lint chocolate is incredible. It's so creamy and it's so unlike other chocolates that I'm really excited to see how it translates into a bar. Never tried the, oh my God, the smell. Oh my God, it smells amazing. <laughs> Even though I've had other flavors of Lindor truffles before, I've never had the mint truffles. So this is a totally new flavor combination to me, but it smells gorgeous. It smells like a kind of upmarket version of a mint aero bar or something like that. So each one of these little kind of chunks has lint beautifully engraved in the chocolate there. So I'm expecting a nice kind of milk chocolate shell and a kind of sweet, dense, creamy, minty chocolate filling. Let's taste the minty, linty, Lindor mint lint bar. <laughs> just as you'd expect. It has a gorgeous, thick milk chocolate shell with that kind of thick, creamy, smooth, minty chocolate ganache filling. It's just so, so good. Actually more shell than filling, which I didn't expect. It's just so creamy. And really, really minty. As with all Lindt chocolate products, it's a Swiss chocolate, which means creamy coats your whole mouth with creaminess. Obviously, the main ingredient in this is sugar, so it's very sweet and very rich, but so, so satisfying. And the mint kind of stops it from being too kind of thick and voluptuous like some lint products can be. You know, it's not as sickly. It's still delicious though. Honestly, my only criticism would be that because the mint flavor is so strong, it doesn't really convey the proper milky flavor of the lint chocolate, though you still get all of that gorgeous texture, so I can forgive them. Honestly, nowadays when everything is salted caramel and you know loads of things and all these new chocolate bars seem to have loads of ingredients all kind of mashed together, it's really nice to have something that's new but so simple and done well. It's delicious, it's both indulgent and refreshing, Yes, it's nothing new or exciting as such in the realms of flavor, but it's new from Lint and it's delicious. So I'm gonna quite happily give this Lint Mint, Mint Lint Lindor bar a solid five out of five. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this Mint Lint Linty Mint Minty Lint Lindor bar and what you thought about it. I'm really keen to try the kind of plain and orange flavors now. I just never really picked them up because I was like, you could just buy a box of the truffles, what's the difference? But now I kind of get it because this, I can eat without feeling quite as bougie as packing truffles in my bag for uni snacks. <laughs> also, let me know below what your favorite lint truffle flavor is. I know they have loads and they vary so much in different countries. Like I know that across Europe, they have crazy flavors. I'm a big fan of the dark chocolate ones. I also really like the coconut ones. They're really good. Let me know what your favorite is. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more delicious junk food reviews and some not so delicious ones because it wouldn't be fun if everything tasted nice, would it? Also for some recipes and some experiments and all kinds of things food related. It's what I'm here for. 
In the meantime, that's all I have for you guys today, so I'll see you for the next one.